Here's Miles showing us his denial defense and the wrong footwork. He takes the boot like a man and on steps Barber, who doesn't show us really any intensity, no communication, no hands, so he also gets bumped. And here's Weber with a big crowd rooting for him to stop Delilah. He ends up being too tall and too tight. Delilah blows by him and also blows the layup. Willie's on the left. He's also too tall and too tight. And Katie goes right by him. The funniest part of the clip is Malik's reaction. <laughs> and here's a tough clip of a passive team with really no hands, no feet, and intensity letting a player go right down the middle. I love the talking intensity here, but the problem is when Willie passes, Zach fails to jump to the ball, and he gets burned on a very easy cut. So here, Dylan's doing his job, but his teammates look tired, out of shape, and they lack intensity, which is okay when you're in the over 40 league, but not now. And here's a fiery 2-3 zone, but I'm not sold that everyone is committed to active hands, and every loose ball counts. And here's a closeout. Right intention, just no hands, and the kid sticks the jumper. So again, good help defense, just no hands on the closeout. So the biggest part of defense could be conditioning, and how conditioning involves your legs, your feet, and your hands. The best teams are in the best shape, and great defensive players are really comfortable moving forward, backward, side to side. And they also are always thinking of ways to beat a player to the spot, the way Katie's doing here. And let's talk about footwork in terms of containment. So here's me, the old coach, showing how poor footwork opens up the most vulnerable area on the floor, which is the middle, and then how the correction will prevent your player from going to the middle. So Miles closes out with the wrong footwork and opens up the middle. Barber closes out with the proper footwork right there. And I show the tough part in that you have to be in help shooting both. But when you close out, you have to adjust your footwork so that you're open, and then when you close out on the wing, you bring the top foot forward and not the bottom foot because the player will slip right behind. Now what I really like about the next clip is Miles' correction. He closes out with the wrong foot, and then he corrects it, and everyone is actively jumping to the ball. So here's the mistake, and watch how he corrects. Then he jumps to the ball in the pass, shoots both, creating a V between the ball, his player, and the basket. So here's Miles up top, talking ball, 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 jumps to the ball, Marshall does more of the same. Here's Maggie putting in some overtime, pushing a player down the sideline, beating her and keeping her out of the middle. And now on to hands and hustle, where hands, 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 and feet, feet start to close out and annoy the top player. I rely on big active hands and the communication of ball, 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 instead of bellying up because I know Marshall will go right by me. So here's a drill that reveals how some kids just use their strong hand. I mean, Tomas is a lefty, so I yell out to him how his le left hand is doing all the work instead of ball pants. And the same thing with Katie, who's a righty. Her right hand is doing most of this work when Tomas catches the ball. Here's Tomas making a great correction by getting both hands up and at least one hand always in the eye line. Next is this whole concept of jumping to the ball, which Willie misses when Katie goes by. And then in the next clip, you'll see how Zach plays great defense on the ball, but when it's passed, he forgets to jump to the ball and Willie slips by. So this habit of jumping to the ball and then pointing to the ball and your player ends up saving you a lot of energy on defense. So the ball goes, I jump, and now Marshall can't cut. So here's me beating Katie on a shuffle cut. And then here's Katie playing good defense and shutting down my shuffle cut. And here's Katie again, who after Matt passes the ball, she maintains that triangle where she could shoot both, then she flips and denies on the wing. And now it's Matt's turn to practice being one pass away, jumping to the ball, shooting both, and keeping his player in front. Now onto my favorite shell drill clips. Great hands, great feet, talking, jumping to the ball, and team movement. You'll see how it ends, where the offense really has to work for this great shot by Delilah. I also like the clips here by the Yellow Pinnies. They're up, but they're playing defense as if they're down. Pass it! 
here's the X team showing what happens when you have intensity, hands, feet, quickness, and anticipation where everyone's attacking. It's basically defense that leads into instant offense. And the final clip, we are seeking anyone who can stop Delilah. So Zach steps up and shows his good feet, his good hands, how he keeps her out of the middle, contains and makes her take a tough shot without following her. Zach bails out the boys, has a little fun doing so, and ends up showing his respect.